Today, I'm going to show you how to use Select and Mask in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And in today's episode, we're going to show you a brand new feature just released in Photoshop. It's called Select and mask. Basically, Photoshop has gotten a lot of their selection tools together into one dialog to make it easier to cut people out of the background. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to update your software to make sure you have access to select and mask, and we're going to show you all around the dialog box, showing you how to cut your subject out of her background as well as create a quick ad. We got a great episode, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. All right, guys, so here's our image for today. We're going to be cutting our subject out of her background using the select and mask tool. Now, in order to make sure you have select and mask, make sure you're updated to the current version of Photoshop. Let's see, we're going to go to Photoshop, go up to About Photoshop CC, and I'm on 2015 5.0 release. So you need this release or newer in order to have access to this tool. Now, if you need to update, simply go to your Creative Cloud installer. There we go. Click on your apps, and then if you've got an update icon right next to Photoshop, then just hit that update icon and you'll be good to go. You can see mine just says open, open, meaning we're already updated here in Photoshop. Okay, now keep in mind, this is for Adobe Photoshop CC customers who are subscribed to the Creative Cloud. So if you guys are using an older version, CS2 or CS3, you're not gonna have this feature. So it's kind of Adobe's way of saying, hey, time to upgrade. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and jump and show you how to cut our subject out of the background using select and mask. So before I cut my subject out from her background, I want to go ahead and make a solid fill color layer that's the same color as her headband. Now, in order to do that, let's go ahead and just zoom in to her headband, okay? I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and sample the color right here on her headband. You can see it changes our foreground color. Perfect. Okay, now with our foreground color loaded, we're going to go to Layer, go to New Fill Layer, and over to Solid Color. There we go. Let's hit OK there and it's going to automatically show up as the color that's in your foreground. So just use your color picker to sample first, and then it's gonna automatically load up that color in your foreground. There we go. So here's our col sol color fill layer. Let's go ahead and bring that right below our subject. Okay, and now it's time to cut our subject out using our selected mask. So you can click on any of your selection tools, marquee tool, there we go, our magic wand tool, our lasso tool, any of these tools clicked on your regular layer and you're gonna see select and mask as your option right here. You can also go to select and then down to select and mask. Okay, now this brings up an entirely new dialog box within Photoshop. It's called the select and mask dialog. Basically they just crammed a bunch of different selection tools within one dialog and it's really helpful. It really does a great job at selecting someone out of the background which you can use to cut out and then Basically, just put a new background on your subject. So let's go through and show you the tools within the Select and Mask and all the features and options. So within Select and Mask, we're going to start off looking at our tools. So here on the left, we have our Quick Selection tool. Basically, how this works is by clicking an area right around your subject, it's going to go ahead and assume that that's an area you want to cut out. So you can see in this case, I just clicked and dragged over the shorts and her legs, and those you can see turn color. Now, we have different views here on the right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to use our onion skin. This is a new view to Photoshop CC, the Select and Mask. Okay, so onion skin. Now we can actually choose our transparency. So I can see what this looks like here with my subject cut out. Now the reason we created that solid fill adjustment layer beforehand is I can see already what it's going to look like on my image with the background there. Okay, so. I've used the quick selection tool to select out her shorts and her pants. So it's really easy to do. Just simply click and drag over the area you want to select out. Okay. And it's going to work, you know, differently for each individual image. In this case, our subject is relatively in focus, you can see, and our background's out of focus. So the tools are going to have an easier job cutting her out of the background. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring this all the way up here. We're going to go make sure we've selected out our subject. We got a couple areas that are overlapping. It's not a big deal. We can take care of those. Click over here and drag out right over here. And also we're going to select out our hair. All right, let's say you do select out a little bit too much. In this case, we've selected out some of our background. Not a big deal. Simply hold Alt or Option, okay? And it's going to switch from the Add to the Subtract. So Alt or Option, or you can simply click here on the Subtract. 
and just paint right down over here, okay? And it's going to subtract this area out, all right? So it's saying, okay, you know what? This area in our background, we don't want to be selected. All right, and subtract that area out there as well. Okay, so that's a quick selection tool. Basically, you just make a quick selection around your subject. Now we have our refine edge tool as well. So the refine edge tool, this works for areas like hair. So zooming in, I'm gonna paint right over top of the hair of my subject. And you're gonna see, it's basically going to decide what's on the background and what's our subject. So in this case, it's doing a really nice job of getting rid of the white that's all around the subject's hair. Really does a good job. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. All right, and let's see, can it get rid of this area? Yep, it did that area as well. Now let's say in this case, you can see a little bit of the strap is turning blue, it's becoming invisible. So here's our next tool. This is our brush tool. You can add or subtract to your selection. And with the brush tool, you can simply paint that right back in. All right, so we have that area. Okay, on our strap there a little bit. Now in this area, maybe I want to hold, there we go, we're gonna paint the thumb in. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option. It's going to minus this area out. All right, so we're just gonna simply subtract that area. All right and we'll go right up there and simply subtract this area out. So again, this is gonna be a selection and then this area, we'll just add that right back in, okay? Use a small brush, hold Alt or Option and subtract these areas out if you want. There we go, and these are just going to not be selected. There we go, and you can see a really nice preview of what it's going to actually look like on your layer mask. Okay. And I think we have one area over here. So again, Alt or Option, and we're just gonna simply paint right over here, and it's gonna make sure that that area does not get selected. Okay, and now we can use our transparency slider to see this is how the image looked originally, and here's how our image is going to look like on our background. Okay, now our lasso tool, here we go. You can just simply click here and add to your selection with any, you know, any shape you want. Let's go ahead and hit undo a couple times or hold Alt or Option and subtract away from your selection just by drawing an arrow. Okay, and then your hand tool just allows you to move your document around and your magnifying glass allows you to zoom in or out on your document. Okay, great. So those are the basic tools. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the advanced settings and features within Select and Mask. So jumping back in, we're gonna take a look at our view mode here. Now, our current view is on onion skin, which is a new view for Select Mask. You can have Show Edge selected, okay, there we go, and we can have Show Original selected, and it's just gonna show it how it originally is. Now, we're gonna click, unclick both of those so we can see what our image actually is going to look like here. Now, we have different view modes as well. You can hit F to cycle through the views or hit X to disable them temporarily. Okay, so let's go ahead and click here and then hit F a couple times. There we go, and we can see our different view modes. There you can see a black and white mask, okay, of your actual image. Now, I actually like onion skin. I think it does a really nice job, and it shows you what your image is gonna look like on your new background. All right, next we're looking at edge detection. Let's just zoom in a little bit here, show you what that looks like. So edge detection works with areas like hair and softer areas. As we bring our radius up, there we go, you're just gonna see it's going to change how the hair blends into the background. So bring our uh, edge down and back up. In this case, it's actually cutting off the hand as well. So we wanna make sure we're bringing that up just a little bit. And you can see here the hair is a little less full. There we go, sorry, a little more full and a little more less full. So you can kind of adjust this to get the right area. There we go, and right about there, that's looking really nice. Okay, next we have our global refinements. Zooming back, back in here, you can smooth out your selection, okay? There we go, which basically smooths out. If you have any rough edges, smoothing is going to smooth out your rough edges. You can feather the edge of your selection, okay, which is basically, it's like a blur at the edge of your selection, so you can see kind of what it does there. And if you do add feathering, sometimes you wanna add contrast back after the feathering as well, okay? So that's gonna kind of like, feathering is gonna make your edge softer, just like that, okay? And then the contrast just makes it a little bit harder again. All right, generally if you're cutting sub someone out from the background, you won't need to use these tools also. You can shift your edge in and shift your edge out as well. So we're gonna keep those both at zero. Now here are the output settings. Okay, we have an option to decontaminate colors. Now, this is a great option if, for instance, your subject was on a green background originally and she had some green in her hair, you could click on decontaminate colors. But you can see it's also doing some kind of weird stuff 
to the face. So we're going to unclick decontaminate colors because it actually looks pretty good. Now in this case you can output what's going on in your selection to a new layer with a layer mask. Okay, just a new layer, a layer mask on your current layer, a selection, new document, and a new, do new document with a layer mask. All right, now in this case we're just going to use a layer mask, okay, and it's going to go ahead and load this as a layer mask to the layer with my subject. So let's hit OK. There we go. And here we have our subject, and you can see she is cut out of her background. Cool. So that's the whole idea with the selection and mask technique. All right, now we're going to jump in. We're going to throw some text on here, then we're going to be done with our image. All right, so our subject is cut out of her background, and we have our solid fill adjustment layer that's the same color as her bandana, which I think re looks really cool. Now, in this case, I've already created a bit of type, so we're going to grab our move tool and click on this group and drag it from one image over to the other. This is uh, <laughs> basically I'm just creating a fake company that, you know, <laughs> this is an ad for run life. All right, let's make this just a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to bring this right underneath our subject. There we go. Just to like, okay, now she's running over the, the E in run life, which is kind of cool. So cutting your subject out of the background gives you a ton of different options because we can move our subject at any time. The background is going to stay still. You can create any type of composition that you want and even introduce text elements right behind your subject. All right, so that's the entire idea behind select and mask in Photoshop. If you want to use select and mask in Photoshop, just follow these key steps. First, make sure you're updated to the current version of Photoshop. This is a brand new feature available in the 2015 CC release 5.0. So if you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, simply go to your Creative Cloud, click on update, and you'll be good to go. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, unfortunately, you won't have access to the tools within this dialog. All right, next is the image you want to use to cut your subject out of the background. In this case, we're using a very simple image. Our subject is in focus and the background is out of focus. To get to select and mask, simply choose any of your selection tools or go down to select and down to select and mask. Here within select and mask, use the quick selection tool to identify the area you actually want cut out of the background. With the onion skin view, you can change the transparency and see how your subject is actually going to integrate into your new background. For areas like hair, use the Refine Edge tool and simply paint over those areas. It's going to blend the hair in with the new background. You can add or subtract your subject using either the brush tool or the lasso tool. And you can change things like softness as well as shift your edge in or out using the tools on the right. When you're done, it's time to output your selection as a layer mask or as a new layer with a layer mask. There are a ton of options here. And in this case, we pulled some type in, put it right behind our subject, and we're good to go. Guys, thanks so much for watching today's episode. I hope you had fun learning about the new select and mask features within Photoshop. If you love Photoshop as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. And it goes boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Got that, got that boom, boom. Ah. Uh.